Hey guys, uh, so today we're gonna cover end-to-end -end testing in Angular 5. Uh, basically any version after Angular 2 would be good. 2, 4, 5, and 5 plus, whichever. In a previous tutorial I have covered the unit testing in Angular and if you haven't looked at it, I have a tutorial, uh, probably the link here. Uh, but this tutorial I'm going to focus on specifically end-to-end -end testing. And the difference between the unit testing and end-to-end -end testing is uh, that unit testing, you focus on individual functions, how they behave, or individual component uh, on how they behave, uh, compared to end-to-end -end testing where you want to look at the overall application UI as a whole and how a user will interact with your application. So when they click on something, what would happen? Where would they go? Make sure that everything is fine on the page. Um, and it basically checks the overall workflow of your application. Uh, so that's what we're gonna focus today. And welcome to Taxi Tutorials. To start with, what I'm going to do is uh, I already have a project created um, uh, for a previous tutorial on uh, how routing works in Angular. Um, so I'm just going to use that project um, uh, to add some unit tests so I don't have to build the functionality and do some testing. Uh, you can actually get this project uh, from my GitHub site and I'll provide a link in the description. Uh, basically, you can um, uh, clone the project and um, using uh, git clone and then you can use this path and then do npn install and then you'll have the project ready. So you'll have something like this and um, inside um, the project the first folder would be the e2e. This is uh, this is our end-to-end -end test. This is where we're going to write our end-to-end -end test. Uh, so let me first uh, uh, compile this project and we'll, we're going to look at what it is and uh, how can we add some end-to-end -end test here. So if I do um, ng serve dash dash open to see what it looks like. All right, so it looks something like this. Uh, so um, by default, it goes to the home page and it has uh, some text called home page. And there's um, uh, two tabs. Uh, if I click on here, it will go to about and uh, the page loads and uh, simply says about and if I click on a user it would have a user list and it would have this two buttons and if I click on John I would get um, a user page for that name and if I click on a Peter I would get that. We're gonna start from here. By default when you create a project using uh, Angular CLI you will have some test and that is already built in and it would be for testing the welcome app now this test won't work because um, you know you have you probably have changed the code already so the test should supposed to fail the first thing what you need to do is uh, um, I run the test to see if it's failing first so I'm gonna say ng e to e and that is how you run the, te um, the, the tests so first it builds a test and then unlike unit tests where uh, you would get a page with all the results. End-to-end uh, -end tests simply because it's a browser base. Uh, so for each test, it would uh, open the the route, um, you know, run the test, and it would exit the browser and run the second test and exit the browser. So you won't see the the browser interaction uh, live. Uh, you just see the the test results actually. So it opens a browser. And then it, you would see the failed test, which is supposed to fail. All right, so now let's systematically look at how it works. Uh, so uh, app.e2e-spec.ts, that's our main test page. And there is another page called um, app.po.ts. So this I would call page object uh, page. And the reason we have page object is because, um, let's say, on the page you have a, some button right and you can be calling this button multiple times so in the test you don't wanna um, you can only get it by you know some ID or some class uh, you know using some CSS 
and you don't want to get it every time you want to do something, right? So what you would do is you would define all those stuffs into a page object and then use it. So write it once and then use it multiple times um, in your test. For example, here um, you would see this um, navigate to this um, default route, right? Whenever you want to navigate to this route, all you have to do is call this navigate to and it would go to this route. The second function here in the page object is called get uh, a paragraph text. Uh, this is quite abstract, but basically what it does, it's, um, um, it returns tag called app root and inside you would have some h1 tag and it's trying to get the uh, the text inside that um, element and if I look at the app the test itself it has uh, written this test called ng5 create route app it's importing this page object page that we just looked at and before it runs each test it has to initialize a page object so I would have I would get this uh, page so I can access all the uh, functions inside this uh, page object. Now, the first test is says should display welcome page, uh, which was this welcome to app page, right? So first thing it needs to do is uh, page dot navigate to, which would navigate to default route. So as I said, there's a way to actually pause the test so we can look at what happens. So what I'll do if I go to page uh, app dot uh, po dot ts. Um, it's importing a browser by an element from, uh, from Protractor. So I'm just going to copy all of this and um, in my app.e2e, uh, e, I'm just going to paste it. So I have this browser by an element available inside the my test. And right after this page.navigate to, I am going to say um, browser.pause, which means when it runs a test, uh, at this line, it would just pause. So let's save this. I'm going to now re-execute the test. So it paused here. And so what I can do now is uh, look at what the, this element is. And I can change my test accordingly. So this is a home page. And it's inside app home and h2. And it's called home page. So what I'm going to do is um, here in my page object, Instead of app root, I am going to change this to app home, and this should be h2, okay? And now um, I'm just gonna keep this get paragraph text, and uh, here it should be equal to uh, home, home page, and save, and I'm just gonna comment out the browser.pause so next time it won't pause and uh, then let's run it again all right so this time it actually passed the test as you can see this green message saying should display welcome message actually i should say should display home page so because since we change here we should change the name of the test as well uh, so i'm just going to change that so the next thing we're gonna we I want to do is um, remember there were like a three uh, buttons on the top and one of them was about. So I am going to write a test for that. So for that I'm just gonna say it um, should uh, display about button. Also I need to navigate to the the main page and then it should say um, expect the about button right but I need to access I need to create a page object for the about button so if I go in a page object um, I can say uh, get about uh, button and this should return me an element so I would say return um, element and as you can see, so the element is provided by the protractor. And I would say by CSS. And now what this is, I don't know what this is. So I need to look at the page itself first. And uh, so it has a signature called router link uh, equal to about. So I can use this uh, to access this element. Um, obviously, it has to be unique. Uh, so 
I can uh, do this. Since it's an attribute, I can access it um, like this. So this would get me the about button text and I can use this now in my test here. So I can say expect a page dot about button and you need to execute that and then also we need to remember the page object you can get the text here right so instead of getting it here I'm just gonna type it here um, get text I think that's the right syntax yeah um, and this should be to equal to what should it be equal to so here I have about so a capital so I should say about uh, let's see if this works so I'm going to run the test again all right so both tests um, have been passed all right so the next test um, I want to write is uh, now that we have the we know that there is a button there and we already verify now we want to click on the button to, to actually see if it's route to that about page or not so for that um, I'm just gonna copy paste this here so I don't have to write every time but you have to be always careful when you copy and paste so here I would say should route to about page okay so for that I would have to first um, go to the default route the second thing I want to do is um, I already have this about button so what I can do here is this and then I can actually click on it so there is an event called click and once I do that it should go to about page so for that put a pause here uh, to see if it actually really goes to the about page and then we can write this part yes so it does go to this about page now let's inspect it to so so we need to verify this right so I'm going to inspect it here okay the signature for this is app about and h2 so that's what we're looking for and again once you pause it um, you can continue if I just uh, see here it will continue to the next uh, or if I do dot exit and that would exit the whole thing all right so I would need to create a page object for this I should call it uh, get about uh, text this would return um, element by dot CSS and remember it was uh, app dash about and h2 right and dot get text so it's similar to this guy here and so now I can use this in my test uh, so here I don't need the browser dot pause and instead of this I can say page dot get about text and it's a function which returns the element and to equal and this should be it's supposed to be about a page okay so now let's run it again all right so now I have all three tests passing so it's it's actually pretty simple all right so I hope you learned something from this tutorial if you did please uh, uh, like subscribe and provide a nice comment and uh, you can support this channel by clicking on the button uh, on patreon and um, you can also translate this video in your language uh, i'll provide uh, the detail in the description thank you